Don't give it to me, please sling it to me. Oh. I requested before the show that it be slung to me. <laughs> uh, I'll get on with the facts. Mm-hmm. Illuminati's, not Illuminati facts. Not to be confused with the thick crust pizza, Chicago style deep dish pies. That's what we calls it, pies. Actually have a thin flaky crust that curves up the side of the pan like an actual pie. See, that's oh, I mean, hold, I see. hold on, hold on, hold on. Everyone stop. 20s gangster, uh, whatever his name is, I don't know, Gabba, Gabagone. Mr. Gabagone, Mr. Ghoul? <laughs> From New York, relocated to Chicago. And I feel like I embody his spirit fully. <laughs> He's this in a, this room tonight. This is a perfect accent. Jordan, you have no idea the excitement that tickled through me every time you mentioned Al Capone on this trip. <laughs> and, I, and I kept going, oh, maybe he'll show up tonight. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, do you like my new coat? <laughs> I bought it for no reason. <laughs> thought it was weird that you wore it on the airplane. <laughs> what does Al Capone wear? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't think he wears anything. Oh, He's God. dead. All right. Forget about it. I'll show you my syphilis backstage. <laughs> you I was see it too. I, I was just amazed that this was, in fact, a fact. Yeah, well, yeah. we've never done this restaurant before. Okay. Uh, well, don't worry, they'll get bad. Here no. we go. In 1971, when Lou and his wife Jean opened their first pizzeria in Lincolnwood, Illinois. A car crashed through the dining room area at peak evening hours. This is called a drive through American <laughs> oh Idol style. You really did write this today. <laughs> I, don't, I told you. It's right here when we signed that up. That just happened. <laughs> That's dark. Just wanted some pizza. <laughs> That was like three days ago. I can't believe that's a Lou Malnati's fact. <laughs> uh, Michael, you were right. <laughs> they got bad. Moving on. Stri- <laughs> Your honor, strike from the record. <laughs> hey, you better watch yourself up here. If you're not a Chicagoland native like me, you can Wait, order. I thought you said you were Shut from up. New York. Shut up. You can order frozen Luminati's pizza right to your door for like $75 for two pizzas, which is so worth it, and you surely have the money for it if you listen to this podcast. Okay, so that that immediately must lead into what Nick told us at the restaurant. What? He doesn't even know. He doesn't remember. He's lost his goddamn mind. We're at the restaurant, Uh and... We're sitting there. It was quite crowded, oh, popular yeah. place. And he leans in and he goes, hey, that woman over there just said she likes to eat frozen pizza. Oh, <laughs> oh that's oh, right. I forgot yeah. about that. And I was like, I totally and, and we all go, what? And he's like, yeah, she's just talking to that guy. And she just, and we're like, not cooked. And she goes, yeah, sometimes I just eat it frozen. It's like a snack. And I was like, just like, one, what the fuck is she talking about? Two, what are you, who, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you eating? He's just like, hey, hey, that woman over there eats frozen pizza. She nibbles on it. <laughs> she nibbles? She nibbles, she it, she nibbles, she nibbles on it? like a snack. And you are all, having a problem with that. I kind of thought that was weird and then moved on and then I guess everyone forgot about um, it. Can um, I, can I ask real quick? Go ahead. Because I have a, a theory. You got, um, you got one favor. Classic yeah, Al Capone. All, all over the place. <laughs> You'll get okay, one I don't like the monkeys. Ba- you can't even see the monkeys backing you up, and I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> he's my guy. He's my made guy. Uh, you this, put the hat on. The, look, he's untouchable, and if you touch him, it's gonna be bad. Uh, real, real, real quick question for both of you. You guys are up to date on your taxes, right? What the, f- what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> What's that? No, no, no. <laughs> What are, the, what are those? Oh, no. Like sales tax? Yeah, you pay sales tax, right? I don't pay for nothing. <laughs> uh, this woman in this restaurant that Nick overheard said that she eats straight frozen pizzas. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Has anyone here done that? I, I heard one, I heard one woman yeah. say, yeah. Are you her? I'm wait. I'm oh, looking. Did you go today? Were you at Illuminati's today screaming you eat frozen pizza and Nick overheard you? Yeah, I figured... That one of these little freaks would have been like, yeah, I eat a frozen all the time. Frozen pizza. Frozen pizza. Frozen pizza. I can't get 
get aboard. I can't get on board with that. Uh, I like I like Heaven's Gate just as much as like the next guy, but that's this is getting like yeah. Jeez, I man. just like the tapes. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I was <laughs> listening to the tapes. Watch this all the time. Put me to man. sleep at night. I, uh, that was a great speaker. Set. I was talking. <laughs> I was talking to my ex earlier. We got suckered into doing a bunch of work, which really pissed me off. <laughs> you know, part of the reason I thought we were going to do this show, uh-huh. yeah. I was already this not This isn't ex- even work. I was already not excited enough to come do this show, <laughs> uh-huh. this miserable show. And uh, then I found out as I got here, like, oh, yeah, I forgot. We have to do all this other work. Uh-huh. Really pissed me off. Really ruined my day. Uh-huh. So I'm out doing this and that, you know, making uh-huh. magic happen. I go back to my room for, like, a, a, a short respite. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then my ex calls me, nagging, as usual. <laughs> and I say, hey, I'm resting. And they're like, what are you doing? And I go, I'm just hanging out in the room, just chilling out, resting with Keith. Mm-hmm. There's a beat. They go, I don't know who that is. And I went, <laughs> Keith Morrison of Dateline NBC. <laughs> <laughs> I was casting it. He soothes me to sleep. He's like, and then the head came off. All Michael <laughs> listens to, Michael doesn't listen to music. He listens to murder podcasts. <laughs> yeah! You gotta know, they, one, they won't get me, they won't kill me, and they won't catch me. You it's, gotta learn from the other's <laughs> mistakes. Right. He'll just tell me about it. He's like, yeah, this is the one about, it's called like the woman who couldn't scream. Oh and it's like, God. what the fuck are you listening to? He died in silence. We got about two <laughs> facts left. <laughs> Oh, facts. Okay. Oh, well, right. I mean, That's everything, right. We're I, about Lou everything right, right, right. I just said was a fact. Yeah. Um, Chicago, <laughs> the hometown of Lou Malnati, has a place called the Bean, but no one can tell you when it's called the Bean. And it's. Did you mean why it's called the Bean? Yeah, I wrote this earlier oh, today. Okay. Why it's called the Bean. Okay. No one can tell you when it's why? called the Bean, and it's not worth your time to visit, but boy, we went there anyway. <laughs> I, I think I think Eric doesn't like the bean because we went Dude. like into the under part and he looked up and he almost threw up. What I, I would describe is his the, eyes yeah. almost popped out of what his head. What I would describe is the anus of the bean. Yeah. If you walk in the middle of it and look up, it's uh, it doesn't feel good. No, it's I like would, looking into a thousand multiverses. Yeah, Eric, it, Eric, Eric pulled his hands. Going, he pulled his hands out of his pocket away. and his hands were black. Uh, that also That's did happen. That's true. That did happen, but he was also touching his filthy shoes a lot. That's, well, <laughs> part of my boot came off today. He, this, Eric, this guy says, let me tell you, Eric's airport, had a great day. This guy says at the airport, he's like, yeah, I was going to wear this and that, blah, blah, blah. I wore boots. I wore boots for the trip because it's not that long. Now I'm going to be slipping all over the place, falling on ice like an asshole. One day in, he's like, my boot broke. <laughs> the my, heel came off his boot. My heel came off. He started, he was walking like this. And I was like, what are you doing? He went, my little, heel came off. Little did we know that was only the beginning of Eric's problems. Yeah. Then he gave away a SIM card, which was weird. <laughs> <laughs> my phone just stopped working. Yeah, he was getting, hey, we got he was one more fact. We'll getting, get uh, to you. I getting, looked here's up, a fact. He's I getting look, very upset about it. I looked up. He's about of, to get angry. I looked up in the middle of the bean, and it was like it was like my eyes went chameleon style. Like they went like two different directions. <laughs> I saw everything and nothing, and it made me so sick. I ha- I was I almost laid down on the ground like Wes. Wes, our photographer, oh. keeps lay- rolling around he, in puddles and talking about licorice pizza. He goes. He was taking a picture here earlier, and he goes like. You know, it just goes on and on about it. Like, I can't get enough pictures. He'll like, walk into a room where, where two, it's totally three. silent, and he'll say, you guys talking about licorice pizza? Uh, dude, nonstop. So anyway, he's like, hey, would you, well, mm, I don't want to make you sit on the floor. Oh, is this a sling job? Sling. Sling, sling it, it to him. Sling Thank you, it. Nicole. I know, I know one of my made guys. Yeah, no, uh, Nicole is the reason that this Thank event... You. Thank you so much. ...has gone so well, and we were Nicole able to do it. Nicole is the best. So if you have a drink, please raise it for Nicole. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Nicole. Like a... Like a... Like a part-time hero. <laughs> part-time hero? Like a, oh, yeah. Like a hero helper. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm fine with that. It's like, like her and Kayla, that's and that's pretty it. generous, Yeah, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So he was like, uh, can we take a... Mm. No. You probably don't want to sit on the floor, do you? And I went, I, I mean, we're inside a building. Who cares? We're not, we're, we're we're not, not si- outside we're where not, it's we're wet. We're not sitting in the water like you all day. <laughs> and he goes, hey, I, you know, I, got, I do what I got to do for my job. And I go, no one asked you to. You just kept sitting in puddles all day. Wes is like, I'm going to take a picture. Woo! <laughs> just like laying in the snow. And I just, I just kept going, he loves it. Why does he keep laying on the ground? I don't know. Does this make any sense? He was all about it. He was splish splashing. Yep. 
He kept telling me uh, everybody loves jumping in muddy puddles, and I didn't quite understand what he was talking about. But maybe in licorice pizza. They oh, do. Jesus! Okay. Uh, Ow. <laughs> oh God! This is the last fact that yep. Eric wrote. Yeah, it's it's a fact. These have all been facts. We Go went ahead. to Lou Malnati's. The guy who checked our vaccination cards asked Nick why he had his monkey mask, then laughed at him and <laughs> took a picture. We don't know what he's doing with that picture, but we assume he's texting it to his friends with the caption, quote, look at this broke-ass Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> the funny part was he asked him on the way out. We were oh, walking yeah. out, he clocked it, and he was like, man, what are you doing with that? And most of this trip is me leaving Nick behind as he looks like a fool yep. in the middle of, like, Chicago, people everywhere. And I just hear someone going, what's that? <laughs> and I hear Nick going, oh, this is, this is a podcast. Is a <laughs> and so then we took that, and then he, he, like, he went, uh-huh. We went into the lobby, and then the, the other thing I didn't, the work I didn't want to do was like, it's time to do that. Everyone. Stand in the way of the entrance and block oh the entrance so God. no customers can come in to Hulum El Nadi's. And while we take a picture for 14 minutes and we're standing there and there's people outside the building like trying to get in. But also going like, oh, no, no, I don't want to be a bother. And Eric and I are like, please come in. Please, please come in. It's fine. And as this is happening, the guy, this is like the hostess, by the way, the guy sitting at the front who pointed out the mask. He's in the window of the door taking pictures <laughs> of Nick with the mask on. And people kept coming in, and I just kept saying, we're an anti-pizza union. We don't like pizza. <laughs> don't we wanna, cross the picket we line. We want to shut this place down. I hate cheese. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a full 24 hours of trying to get sh like content and everything, and our social person, Maxie, and other people going, oh, okay, God. Nick, put on the mask now, and, yeah. and Nick going, dude. Do I have to? Uh, uh, well, a guy tried to take it from it on. you. A guy just tried to take it. Yeah, what was that? We, and the guy who tried that, to take it in front of the that, theater? It was in front of the Chicago sign. Oh, that's Yeah, right. you know, like from that, from that play. Not only did the guy try to take it, but it wasn't like a guy ran by and tried to, the guy was posted up there, yeah. like handing stuff out. There was some sort of kerfuffle with Nick where he was, like, going to take it, and he was like, nah. And then, anyway, I'm going to go back to standing here right next to you. <laughs> and Nick's like, I got to try to take my mask. And I go, oh, well, I guess we wouldn't have the monkey anymore because we don't have any more. Yeah. <laughs> we did learn, however, before Someone in the, the audience, we learned during the Q&A, has another <laughs> monkey mask, and we're trying to make a trade. Negotiations yeah. so, have been so ongoing. So we can get a backup. I offered a blue wolf head. <laughs> uh... I don't have it, but also this guy has a $100 bill on him. What? So if you want to jump him after the show. What is, what's going on? I don't know, dude. <laughs> hey, hey. Final hey, offer. Hey, hey, I take care of my people. All right. Okay. <laughs> I say just the taste. It's a taste. I gave you those pizzas once. That's true. <laughs> It's true. Daddy gets a taste, is what you told me. <laughs> I Daddy, gave you Daddy gets a slice. Two or three. <laughs> yeah, and then it was, I got two frozen pizzas from DiGiorno. Yeah, and then he started eating them uncooked. Yeah. <laughs> I, I goes, ate them all. He goes, I know this woman who loves them, swears <laughs> by them. He says, this is a delicious snack. Uh, she has no teeth, though. Uh, Nick, Nick is an incredibly talented, like, audio engineer. What? He's, yeah. So he okay. He didn't do that. He's anymore. a great audio editor. He runs our audio stuff. He's great. He does a great job. Uh, watching him over the last day have to put on the hat, and, and then we all stand around. And Maxie goes, "Okay, dance now." And he goes, "Oh yeah." You oh, and then he goes, <laughs> "Yeah, we got a bunch of them." <laughs> no one asked him to sing. <laughs> yeah. That's true. How else will he dance? Yeah, he, he needs to something get, to dance to. You got problems. Man. You're falling apart. You got problems. He wants to get into it. Uh, he's wearing a shirt with himself I, on. I think he's getting I mean, hot. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to go backstage look, and Nick's going to be drenched. Look, he can take the shirt off. He can't take the mask off. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a show. <laughs> he takes off his shirt and it's just this. This white ass hat? <laughs> no. No. Uh, he's a father. <laughs> and those are just the facts. Should we talk about in addition to the the deep dish pizza we ate, we yep. also got a special thing oh, from, we did, yeah. from we old did Lou indeed. that he cooked up for us. Um <laughs> we don't typically talk about the food much on this show. But yeah, in fact, we, I despise it. Yes. 
But we will talk about what we ate slightly. Um, deep dish pizza, great, Chicago stuff, whatever. The reason, one of the reasons we chose Lou Malnati's is because they have something called the crustless pizza. Hold for cheer. Thank you, one person. Hold for, hold that, for Lou. Man, that was another <laughs> Lou chant. There you go. Lou, um, Lou, Lou. Oh my God. It's all weird. It's all uh, messed up. The this crustless, is not what I envisioned when the I The crustless this pizza dude. is what we learned about, come on, not too long ago. Uh, the, the it's going to burn the stage. <laughs> no, no, put it out. <laughs> <laughs> the crustless pizza, and you're like, oh, the, like the ends. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no dough. There's no. I'm going to get to the facts. Let's do it. Let's learn. <laughs> um, <laughs> our previous Pizza Hut episode was released March 31st, 2020. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Two years ago. 2020. Almost. What the hell? Where we ate the Big Dipper and Mozzarella Popper pizzas. It received an average score of 17.5. That's why yeah. we haven't gone <laughs> yeah. we were, to Pizza Hut. Sense. We were upset about it. Because yeah. it sucked. Yep. Because yep. it sucked. It was a regular pizza that they cut into squares. No, it, there was correctly. that, and then there was the mozzarella popper ones on the back of the crust. Yeah, of the yeah, other like, yeah. peel them off, yeah. little growths. Yeah, Ugh. and um, and it got then 17. we Pizza then we Hut really. Sucks. It's good to know that even two years ago, right? Like mm -hmm. as long as this podcast has been going, you could say two years ago was a while ago. Yeah, right. Like way earlier near the start of the podcast, especially like the evolution of the show. Right, even two years ago, I can tell you we were punishing restaurants mm. because that <laughs> so, wasn't just for the food. That was because pizza hut. I know we were like, you should be better than this. Yep. You should be ashamed of yourself with, yep. with score inflation. A 17.5 in 2020 yeah. is like, <laughs> yeah. is like a 5.5 yeah, right. yeah. in 2022. Uh, yeah. I um, think that might've been the last one that we did in person before we had to start recording. Well, what started as remotely and then in our cars. Right. So Good that's times. crazy. Pizza hut. Yeah. They weren't good times. They were good times in only in comparison to doing them at home. Yes. That was better. Mm -hmm. However, a lot of Eric's hood getting messy was very funny. <laughs> that sucked. It was always getting sticky uh -huh. or soft. And the wind would blow. This guy, we'd get out of our and cars. And like, what and are then, you doing? And then he'd make the little picnic table on his car. I, where else am I supposed it, to put and it? And it would spill everywhere. <sighs> and then, and then it was... It happened multiple times, but one day was like the great disaster. Yeah, where it was like it a was bunch of shit everywhere. I feel like it was and, like blue and, cheese. And, and that and... was the day where Jordan just goes, I mean, why don't we just go inside? I furious. And Eric lost it <laughs> because we couldn't go inside. <laughs> <laughs> because that was the whole point. We were doing it outside. Like we chose. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we shouldn't he, go inside. We lost it. God. I know that was close to us coming back <laughs> yes. inside. But because because I think it was kind of like, do you think we could go in? And you're like, I'm I'm go I'm going through the channels to see if like because other productions were coming yeah. back. But basically, it was just like yeah, it cost a fuck ton of money to go through all the um like Testing. clearance and shit yep. at that point. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, two years ago was also it was just way more complicated. It cost more money. Right. Blah blah blah. And it's like for this shit show, fuck you, yep. a show that we can <laughs> quite clearly do in our cars, mm -hmm. and we're just like we hate it though. And it's like fuck off. We but hate Jordan it, going. Though. I just, I don't want we can go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Eric lost. It. I had to get that special was, permission to do it in our cars he, in the parking lot. He may have actually gotten mad uh, at that point. I was thinking <laughs> about it was. at that no. point. And then he was And then I think he about. said it, and I think I got mad. I think he actually was mad. <laughs> I, I just remember being very surprised he took it so, like, seriously. Well, I was oh, already oh, starting he to was, think yeah, about getting mad. That's what it was. That's what it was. I don't think you yeah. noticed he was thinking about getting mad, and you just kind of said it. I just, just kind of, like, I was like, just I was, offhandedly, and he just blew up. I think that's what made him so bad. It was, it was, like, yes! it was like, it's like, Hey, 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 dum dum. Yeah, it was. It was so flippant, and it's like, well, what the fuck? Yeah, he was mad. He was real mad. Uh, that was when everything changed. <laughs> and the Titans attacked. <laughs> Season finale part two airing now. Uh -huh. um, I think we're ready for facts. Second two. fact. In the early days of Pizza Hut, <laughs> before the iconic Red Roof logo, there was an actual Pizza Hut mascot named Pizza Pete, a mustachioed man who delivered pizzas to customers. Do you think he's related to Pasta Pete? And it would make you drink six to seven glasses of poison water or take you to Olive Garden on a trick. <laughs> uh, you know, describing Pasta Pete's character, yeah, he yeah, yeah. would really do well to have a 
sinister mustache. Uh, yeah, like definitely. If he was twirling, oh, for sure. But, Give him a, or like or like a but, Hans But he wouldn't goatee. know it. Though. No, I was gonna say that's it. He would twirl the mustache, it's kind but of have no idea. Yeah, yeah, he would have no idea that it looks sinister, and mm. he would be there. Would be no like nefarious intent. Well, he would be saying things that were pretty like commonplace but like the act of him twirling right. his mustache would make them seem very insidious I feel like, like if he was saying like yes i'll deliver your pizza <laughs> i feel like though he'd be twirling his mus- mustache but you know it's like the curl uh-huh. and you twirl but then it always bounces back it would just be all fucked up it would, it would <laughs> be, and it wouldn't look like, right kind of and instead everyone would be like yo your mustache is out of he's whack he's like grabbing part of it but it's only half of the one side yeah. so like some of it's going down yeah he poisoned so now me it's just like robot he poisoned me that maybe helped with the cheese, though. Yeah, definitely. I think maybe look, like, look, it now your I'm body. sitting here going, what could boil yeah. notice why. Uh-huh. I had seven glasses. <laughs> <laughs> seven glasses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sucked it down. It's like someone said, don't drink that. And I said, I'll show you. Fine. Yep. Totally fine. Now I'm not lactose intolerant anymore, I'm pretty sure. You probably have another health issue. That well... <laughs> Kind of hey. to make up for it, but we haven't found. We'll out find yet. out next year during the next boil notice <laughs> when I start sucking it down yep. from day one. From walk-in pharmacies to funeral homes, womp womp. Many businesses are housed inside former restaurant locations, proving that in fact you can out pizza the hut. <laughs> That's sad. I found a website that is dedicated to uh, posting pictures of businesses of former. Pizza Huts. Okay. And there well, that are. Have, that have like the shape. It is. But there's something site. else. Uh, so many churches. It's stunning. Stunning. How many churches are inside of former Pizza Huts? <laughs> Do, why don't they pray to pizza? They go in there and pray to Pizza Pete. <laughs> <laughs> It's, well, some actually say pizza Pete on the cross. <laughs> there's actually some um, like. He died for our. <laughs> go ahead. You're almost there. You're so close. Here it's we like go. He died for our sauce. <laughs> oh, there you go. He got there. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah. I liked it. I was going to say, claps. I was gonna, he claps at everything. <laughs> I was going to say that there's actually, I don't know if there's new historians saying that the cross was actually triangular shaped. Oh, and so, and he so might they, have actually been mm-hmm. uh, some crucified sort of, some to sort a pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His head was in the Well, and in you the have crust. to think about the people who crucified. Like, uh, it's, hence, little Caesar was there, oh, and he was no. the one. He's the Pontius Pilate in right. this whole thing. Of pizza. Pete I don't think they have the triangle. <laughs> no, it's a band. Yeah. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> was, at, at those churches, when you take the sacrament, it's just a pizza crust. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That was a long walk, but we got they there. They should just cut the little wafers into a triangle. That, there you, you go. go. Still tastes like we shit. <laughs> Yummo. Mm. Hey. Yep. Did you know mm-hmm. that in 1997 of our Lord and Savior, Pizza comma Pete. Pizza Hut, not uh, you know who I'm talking about. Pizza Hut sued Papa John's over its quote "better ingredients, better pizza" slogan, going so far as to have scientists perform tests to prove that Papa John's ingredients did not taste better. Pizza Hut lost. Looking back, <laughs> I think that if Papa John should be sued for something he said, there's probably a way more slam dunk thing they could have picked. Like what? I don't know. Just there's got to be something. Something he's been trying to take out of his vocabulary. <laughs> mozzarella. I forgot, I forgot about that. <laughs> it was mozzarella, right? Oh. He posted a video and it had to be taken down. Isn't he? Isn't he going to be speaking at like the Republican like national convention thing? I don't know. Is he? I think so. You'd know. No, Jordan told me. Oh. Not not me, another Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. <laughs> oh, the statue was talking to you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I thought that was just me, and I didn't yeah. bring it well, up. Well, he was definitely whispering to me and Michael simultaneously. Yeah, he kept saying, you're the demon, I'll set you free, I'll set you free. And I thought that was weird. Oh, that's weird. He whispered to me, Papa John is going to speak at the Republican National right. Convention. He's all over the place. It's crazy. Uh, Multitasker. I want to point out, my favorite part of this is mm-hmm. that Better ingredients, better pizza isn't calling out anyone directly. No. But for pizza to be like, what the fuck? That's excuse me. Also, what is the what is the test? Yeah, right? Like what how do you scientific? I just so like the idea of going, scientist, what ingredient just, is better? Just so and, you know. And every like uh chef or like uh-huh. judge in the world went, Oh 
fuck. Uh, just so you're aware, Nick was over there pretending to be a scientist by taking bites of pizza. <laughs> yeah. Just so you're aware. I'm doing yeah. research. Yeah. But yeah. It, was, it was a whole thing Scientists. where Pizza Hut won and, and got paid $12 million. And then Papa John's appealed and another judge just went, <laughs> this is stupid. Yeah, what the fuck? Apparently Pizza Hut has a slogan that says the best pizza under one roof. And Papa John's just went, well, what the fuck? And the judge went, <laughs> Yeah, and made him give all the money back. Nice. Hey, that rules. Oh, and that's man. what ruined Pizza Hut. That must have been it. At over 300 million pounds of cheese used annually, Pizza Hut accounts for 3% of cheese production in the U.S. Lucky for one hero. It's weird that you use the number one. <laughs> I agree. Type it. It's very, very odd. Well, it's one hero and two hero. Uh, he is evolving beyond lactose intolerance. One so hero. maybe we can up that to a cool 4%. I would argue I've already done that. But <laughs> I order extra on every cheese. Although, I guess I'm not helping pizza because I usually get Domino's. Right, they're much yeah. better. Mm, okay. Because they're much better. How much, much better. Uh, better. of that percentage is Domino's? I feel like Domino's is probably like a good 5%. No, see, I, I feel like it's not because as we've discussed, Pizza Hut foolishly is still at the top for some reason. Yep. They shouldn't be, but they are. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't so it's feel like, right. It doesn't. It's not right. Yeah. It's not right. It's like if Burger King were higher than McDonald's. It wouldn't make any <laughs> sense at all. It makes there's no some, sense. There's somebody listening to this hey, who just said so that. And they went mad. like this. Yeah. Hey, you guys, you like McDonald's. What's wrong <laughs> with Burger King? Is anyone else tired They're of the that? same hey, thing. Hey, Why do they keep thing. shitting on Pizza Hut? I've been going there since I was three. <laughs> <laughs> I like the one guy. I think I've already said this, but I like one guy. We were talking about Burger King and how much it sucks. Mm -hmm. And, and so he said something like it, the meat tastes like smoke. Yeah. And he had a story of basically how he used to go there as a kid and then went there recently as an adult and was like, oh, my God, it tastes like smoke. <laughs> 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 because because he broke free yeah, yeah. from the chains that bound his mind. Yep. If you are the fed, thought that Burger King is good. If you are fed Burger King as a child, you will continue to go. It's people yeah if, <laughs> you'll continue to be fine with burger king but All right it's, if you stop eating burger king yes. and eat something else good correct for a, a period of time and, and then, then go back and then go back you'll go oh I, this tastes i, like I argue you don't even have to eat something else good <laughs> i think if you just stopped <laughs> you eating, just stopped burger eating burger king for a couple of months <laughs> it would it, your body right. would cleanse itself right. of right. it and then when you reintroduced it it would go oh there will be a period uh, where you go through withdrawals yeah. and, uh, you know, you're sweating a lot right. and, like, right. you get the shakes. But, you start you know, smelling you'll like come out, smoke. Right. It's, it's coming out. Your you're sweating. <laughs> you're sweating smoke out of you somehow. Uh -huh. yeah. But, you know, it's all part of the healing process. Yeah. 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 So Pizza Hut being number one, insane. Uh, Burger King, I, not even, I don't even think it's number two, is it? It's more like number poo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Got him. Well, there you go. Those are the facts. Now that I have the sheet from my pocket. Uh-huh. $60 still on the table. <laughs> yeah. Money talks. <laughs> How do you think Chicken Sandwich got elected? <laughs> $60? Hey, I'm throwing a cup of water into the, <laughs> into the race. <laughs> I backed this I'm cup of water with $40. <laughs> it's a grassroots campaign. Deputy mayor. Every, every $20... Will help this cup of water be Beto's lieutenant governor. I'm, I'm putting this cup of water in. Come this on. is here comes here comes the blue wave. Yeah. Come on it's in. It's in a clear cup. Join the losing effort. Whatever money you can give. When he's elected governor, he's making marijuana oh, legal. Jesus Christ. I read that today, immediately voted. Yeah. Oh no. Early. So early. <laughs> Voted, screamed from my car. I started screaming. Whatever. I was screaming in the school, going, let me vote. And they kept saying, sir, sir it's a school day. I'm ready. And I'm I was going, let me vote. I want my weed. <laughs> Beto promised me weed. I need to chill out. <laughs> anyway. The very first Zaxby's <laughs> opened in 1990 in Statesboro, Georgia. Founder and CEO... Zach McElroy built the concept around indescribably good chicken and the unrivaled flavor of Zach's sauce. Unrivaled flavor and indescribably, indescribably good. good. Damn. You guys nailed that together. Yeah. It's 
though this fact was taken I'll directly honest, from the Zaxby's honest, website. I don't even know which sauce was Zaxby's. Uh huh. Like in this bag, uh, right? I don't know which one it was. The, yeah, it was the one on the sandwich. Built the concept around there was so, sauce like, on the sandwich. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, there was. <laughs> Uh, Cat pointed at the bag, and I was like, "No, that's a bag, not sauce." Now I know why she's not into well, it. Well, she was saying, she was saying, "Wimpy." No, I got that. I thought she was just like, "I, I eat paper." <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was weird. <laughs> that sauce is really dry. <laughs> it's all wadded up. Um, what a statement. They're still working uh, on it. Yeah. that's why. That's why. <laughs> that's why they're still around. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zaxby's. Has over a dozen signature sauces, which is too many for a normal person, but probably not enough for Nick, who took time to do his own research and <laughs> let us know yesterday how many sauces were on the menu, even though no one asked. He said, quote, holy hell, Zaxby's has 14 different sauces, end quote. That's true. No one replied. That's also true. <laughs> At this point, it's just he like, was... <laughs> we, we don't even like, you know. Give him the, the I didn't, satisfaction I didn't of even, being like, whoa, sauce. I didn't this even give like, him a lit email. Yeah. <laughs> and that's right. my bare, that's my like least effort. <laughs> I'm going to start just doing thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it truly was him screaming in the void. Holy hell. And everyone just sat quietly. <laughs> everyone, everyone hearing him and going was like, yeah. He did his own research on the number of sauces. <laughs> yeah. And then we only got and eight. We only got eight. He's shaking his head. He's mad. He doesn't even care. He Don't worry. Care. He'll have his it's wife. It's not even big deal. He'll have his wife oh, swing right. by later. Oh, that's right. He's gonna go to Zaxby's and he's clapping. Yeah. He's gonna go to Zaxby's. Hey, what can I get you? All fourteen sauces, please. <laughs> uh, you want food with that? No. No. I said what I said. I've already described what food I'm I want. I'm willing to pay five cents a sauce and not a penny more. They're thirty nine cents each. What? Oh man. Yeah. Can you believe that? Uh, no. Yeah. There you go. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Inflation, man. Uh. Even though we'd never heard of them before, even though uh, Jordan clearly did, mm. Zaxby somehow ended up in the Xbox 360 era game Midnight Club Los Angeles, the fourth and final installment of the Rockstar game series. Did Zaxby's kill Midnight Club? We have no way of knowing, but is there a way to bring back that ping pong game? <laughs> Yeah, play it. <laughs> don't, don't you want to play a new PS5 generation with dual sense controls playing ping pong that they, Rockstar made I for think some they reason? Just go ahead and just port, well, you can it, just, port it directly. You and can it would play, look just as good. Well, you can play it in GTA Online. That's why they. You can play that ping pong. Yeah, they just yeah. copy pasted the code. Is it just the game? Ping pong? Yeah. No, it's no, just I like mean, a the, it, the, the video. Game. No, you don't. You don't like walk up no, no. to your apartment and like go into your your living room and then play the game ping pong <laughs> no, by Rockstar. That would be awesome. Is that really what you do? You don't go to a place and then play ping pong. In you the plug game? in no. your Xbox 360 for some reason. You have right. a grand. You have to go. Like, you have to go into the closet. It's, it's and like take a, the Xbox 360. No, it's like out. in. It's like an Uncharted when he plays Crash Bandicoot. Wow. <laughs> Is that good? Very good. Thank you. Uh, he does, though. He does. I do remember Uncharted that. 4. That's Uncharted 4. He just also, hurts playing Crash Bandicoot, and I remember playing it going, But then you, But happened? then you play it. Yes. And so I <laughs> just play him playing Crash Bandicoot. But I played it and was like, earnestly playing Crash Bandicoot and going, what's happening? You yeah. You play it like he would play it, though. So yeah. not playing it like yourself. Right. I did a good job. Like, I did a good job. Yeah? Yeah. You beat it? And that thing. Yeah. You get all the I, apples I or whatever. whatever. All the, yeah. What do they eat? What does he eat? What does a bandicoot eat? Wampa fruit. Oh, wampa fruit. Yeah. Mm. Um, That's I, Star Wars. I will say huh? we saw Uncharted. Uh-huh. We saw it with Eric. Yep. <laughs> and there's. <laughs> Was Crash Bandicoot there's, in it? There's, well, not that yeah. I saw, but maybe. There's a point where uh, Nathan Drake opens a suitcase yep. and there's a Naughty Dog sticker in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was sitting next to Eric and I went, yeah, yeah. <laughs> out loud, out loud, the out loud in Alamo Draft House. <laughs> yeah. and then, I took a risk, and then yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> short, shortly thereafter, a server came up to I, me and said, I, "Sir, please I keep it down." I giggled my ass off. <laughs> I thought I could get, get away with it. It was <laughs> for a quiet movie theater in a scene where Tom Holland is opening an orphan's trunk. <laughs> yeah, and like, oh. and he, and you just hear like, if you're just sitting away from Michael, you just hear. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm three rows up, I'm like, that was weird, but yeah, I'll let that, it slide. Oh, <laughs> that carried me. If that was anyone else in the theater, I I still would have laughed. I would have been like, oh, Crash Bandicoot noise. <laughs> I, I I mean, I, only because Eric was sitting right next to me. <laughs> yep, yep. I thought it was good. Oh, man. Uh, anyway, something about facts. Uh, with more than 900 locations in 17 states, Zach's fans... 
with the Z. Is that what they're called? Yes. No, that Zaxby's is mostly located in the South, where the restaurant sponsors everything from colleges to NASCAR drivers. So if you're looking to get ahead <laughs> in life, come to Zaxby's University and learn how to drive a race car in Mobile, Alabama, a place used exclusively as a punchline, you dumb fucking hick. Damn. <laughs> We did it before we even got to the fact. I'm so thrilled. When you said Mobile, Alabama, I was elated. It is the biggest punchline place. It really is. It's perfect. It is, yeah. It's perfect. Oh, it's great. It's called Mobile for crying yeah. out loud. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone's stuck there. Jake, right? That's <laughs> even worse. Im Immobile, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> They're just constantly like... Walking around going, the irony, yeah. the irony. <laughs> I don't think they know what that means. I can't leave. <laughs> right. Why? Oh. <laughs> Just go that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you ever been to New Orleans? It's no. like it's like Eric screaming in Amarillo. Just leave. Just, <laughs> just go. Right. Just Everyone go anywhere. anywhere. He kept saying, "Go any, any pick any I direction and just go until I you're just, somewhere else." Abandon this yeah, city. I can't <laughs> imagine that you go to Amarillo, you stop, and then you go. Ah, we did it. I made it. Yeah, no. It's also very easy to escape. It's all open. In, right? Incredible. There's, there's, there's no there's, walls. There's, 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 there's nothing no but roads. Keeping you in. There's, there's a no, historic like, road that goes yeah. right through there, it that there's takes no, you anywhere like, else. I'm stuck in the oh, neighborhoods. Uh, it's no. just a street that goes through it. <laughs> there's no like tough terrain. Yeah. It's all it's flat. Like, it's like not being able to leave a saloon town. Yeah. When it's, you go, yeah. well, like, the town's there yeah. and there. There's one single road. And then kind of just <laughs> like the rest of the earth big, all around it. Big Tex doesn't climb down and go, where do you think you're going <laughs> yeah. when you try to escape Amarillo? <laughs> it's like when there's a, a, a blockade in a space movie mm -hmm. and you can't quite understand it because yeah, you, you're in space. Right. You have a Z, you have access right. to feel Z like access. That you, you can't be unless they've surrounded you. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of hard. It's like it's a planet. Yeah, <laughs> go up. I don't know. Go more up. Go up. Go upper. Go, and up. go upper until you're up above them because <laughs> you're in space, and then go down. And when you're behind them, <laughs> <laughs> so do so. If people of Amarillo that's, rise that's up. Just saying, go go up. Go down. <laughs> any direction. Don't walk into a building and you're just fine. Stop. How how <laughs> you're gonna get tricked. There's gonna be somebody in Amarillo with a crooked finger going, come on in. How cool don't would it be trust them. If like two weeks from now, we, there's just a news headline that's like Mo uh, 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 Amarillo, Amarillo, Texas, totally abandoned. Just complete Every, ghost everyone got town. up and left. I mean, fucking total ghost town. Our, our heroics would be even more magnified, mm -hmm. I feel like. Even in these times, we saved, especially in these times. Oh, we, I, we not only saved everyone in Amarillo, but yeah. untold mm -hmm. future generations. That's true. Like anyone who would have been born yeah. there, right? Anyone else who would have stumbled there, their, their parents should be like, "Hey, son, you know why Face Jam are heroes? Because you didn't grow up yeah. in Amarillo, <laughs> right? I mean, if if they wanted to do something with the now ghost town of Amarillo, yeah, you could just put prisoners in it, as it is. Right. It feels like an escaped prison yeah, town. But, but I will say, going back to the Mm -hmm. Not very secure. They could just leave. Right. I agree. Right. However, but, they'll drop some walls. Right. Right. But those yeah, there's something there, going right. on where I think you put the prisoners in oh, Amarillo and it's they'll like go. A, it's like a Harry Potter spell. Like yeah. When you get near something you're not supposed to see, you get confused yeah. and walk I, away. I uh -huh. think it's Does like that a, one register. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like a, <laughs> it's like a good place, bad place situation where it's like uh, you don't you, you don't know that it. you're in hell. Every <laughs> But, yeah, but she figured it out pretty quick. But it's like good enough that you're like, I'm not going to go anywhere. It's, okay, so people of Amarillo it, realize you're in the bad place. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? We can't send Kristen Bell. Right? No, no, no. She's no. too smart. She, she's too smart. She's too smart. <laughs> she's smart. I think they should just add more of those cars. Yeah, stuck <laughs> in the ground. Like that's Dude, what they should do. Imagine if they it. had six or seven <laughs> instead more? of four. They take over the world. <laughs> that's like NATO keeps an eye on that. Oh, <laughs> They're like, we'll uh. check the nukes. And four cars only in the ground. <laughs> you don't need them. You don't, any. dude. The next uh, Kingsman movie, mm -hmm. they're gonna like somebody's gonna get in that car and it's gonna <laughs> and it's gonna go underground. Right. And he's gonna be like, "Welcome to the hive." <laughs> and then, and then that's, they're like, "This Amarillo is the biggest cover up 
in United States history. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's it's like, like, no one would suspect. That's how. That's Nicholas, why they Nicholas made it. Cage is down there with the Declaration of Independence. That's why they made it a tourist trap. Is yeah. so you wouldn't you wouldn't yeah. look at people coming and going in Amarillo, Texas. They're all tourists. Some of them are Kingsmen. Yeah. Think about it. Wow. And mm -hmm. the final fact we're still doing. <laughs> In October of 2019, a man was diagnosed with hepatitis A ah, after eating at a Zaxby's in South Carolina. This actually isn't the worst thing that can happen to you at Zaxby's, a restaurant where the co-founder's NASCAR driving son was shot dead by police after he attacked his ex-wife with a hatchet. Truly a dark day for Zax fans everywhere. I know the story. Yeah. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, no, I remember. When the, it happened like. In November of last year. He I did, think. yeah. It was very, very recently. recently. Um, he was actually shot by the man he was attacking. Oh, uh, really? His ex-wife was with like another man, um, and he was like, not on my watch, apparently. Oh, you know and what? busted in there with a hatchet, and the guy shot him. You know what? And also <laughs> accidentally shot the woman. But Oh, she, my God. But I did hear about lived. this, minus the Zaxby <laughs> mm -hmm. right, yeah. relation. But also, then, does that mean Eric's fact is wrong? That... He was shot dead I, by police I, I, and not the I guy. It up to or did they all mis, did they all team up information? Yeah, facts. I thought this happened at his axes and, and cops shot these shot this dude. No, uh oh, no, uh oh. <laughs> Honestly, though, yeah. probably two different <laughs> stories. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it could be probably he, two different. The stories. guy could have two sons who <laughs> drove a NASCAR. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> Same guy. Can you believe they were brothers? <laughs> <laughs> he was they like both attacks their ex wives with hatchets. Yeah, the guy. My <laughs> brother died holding this hatchet. <laughs> it's some. It's cursed. Send me to him. <laughs> just, yeah. just, just another day in the Townley ha household. <laughs> he looked at the hatchet on the ground and it started speaking to him. Yeah. And he was like, oh, pick it up. Oh, I see. Trick me to Amarillo. <laughs> Trick me guys, to guys, is the hatchet speaking to you too? <laughs> Do you guys hear that? Oh, fuck. Is it the cars? <laughs> yeah. And somehow we made it through the facts. Oh, man. Ugh. I'm always tickled when there's a, a fact related to like NASCAR or something. Hey, I, yeah. uh, or also, someone also, getting killed. Also, it's, <laughs> also it's just funny how he often a, it happens. He just took a beat. <laughs> well, I mean, it it is about people getting killed. He like NASCAR. I can like the murder. Yeah, I don't. I don't end up on Dateline. I don't exactly. I don't endorse <laughs> killing, but I like the stories if it's already happened. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. There's nothing if, you could do. If there's but... no more killing going on. I wouldn't. Right. I wouldn't like start a campaign to start killing again. Right. But <laughs> but the, they're already making it. I'm gonna watch if it. All killings stopped, and then you consumed every story about every killing. You right. would not be like, I'm all out of content. I need more killings. Right. I don't think. And that's why well, you gotta cross that bridge when you get exactly. to exactly right. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get there. Look, we don't want people to die, but also at the same time, we'll consume this content, and that's why you'll never see Face Jam singing "Imagine" by John Lennon. <laughs> no, there's definitely gonna be crossover. Now, here. anywhere in the facts, do you have accurate hours of operation? <laughs> <laughs> I have. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Eric, why are you crying? Let's that get sucks. into it. I suppose. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Founded in a. University of Pennsylvania dorm, people call it up. Mm -hmm. In 2003, Insomnia Cookies has over 200 locations what all hell? over the U.S. offering warm cookies from quote 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. Wow. So do I have accurate? Wow, yeah. he did. Yeah, he did. So have the answer to your question is yes. I mean, you don't because they weren't open. That's what they times. were. But that's the, <laughs> so the I, hours I, are supposed the to. The definition be. of inaccurate information because we went that's there true. between 10 and 3 a.m. and they were closed. On everything. Did we go to a, like a so, knockoff? No. Is here's it? what we do. Where are the other 199? Yeah, we got it. Let's go. Let's yeah, try one. Nick, pause it. <laughs> Where's the closest one outside of Austin? Cut to us in the car. Why are you close? <laughs> yeah. killing that in the car. Why are you <laughs> God, I, that, 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 that really clip is amazing. Yeah. He goes on for so <laughs> yeah. long. And people people deserve going, well, those, to know. Those kids come up next to him and start like making fun of him right next <laughs> yeah. to him, and he kind of looks at him and then goes back to yelling, "Why are you close?" But then, but people are, aren't people like going in and out of the doors like next to him? I, I. I don't remember. Man. It's hard to focus. There's definitely people inside yes. like, looking at him. Yeah. Now that you know, right? That's a meme. The <laughs> why are you closed guy? You don't know that when the mall was closed? Oh, no. Well, I don't think it was closed. He just assumed it was when there was one locked door. I was kind of like you today. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Everybody was going inside the other side of the yeah, building. The we only checked two corners. The building has four sides. <laughs> the other sides oh, of no. that building was a parking lot. It was like lot. a parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could have tried, For I guess. the cookie store, <laughs> we didn't check the underground parking. <laughs> Despite its name, Insomnia cookies don't have a secret ingredient. 
quote unquote, which is code for weed. But they're really cute about not saying it, so it's tongue and cheek, despite marijuana still being illegal in 34 states. He, he, he. Cute. <laughs> tongue and cheek? Yeah, yeah. tongue and cheek. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you write that? Because it was 8.30 this morning. Okay. No. <laughs> he was already, he was already he was rushing. late. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realize I wrote tongue and yeah. cheek <laughs> until you read it out loud. Uh, Don't think cute, I've ever wrote cute, tongue and cheek. Right. Cute. I'll say this though. Here's I'll say a this tongue, though. Here's a cheek. This is great. That's so tongue it's, and it's cheek. That's why I glossed over it. The number of people now going, it's not tongue and cheek. Yeah, right. It's yeah. astounding. I, I guarantee you. Cheek. I was ready for Eric to go, it's not tongue and cheek. No. No, no, no. no. I was waiting I to see where first, it was going to go. It's yeah. the first time I've ever written an and. That's insane. Tongue That's the first and. time you've ever written and? Uh, yeah. How do you form sentences? Uh, in, it's such an foster, important word. The, the ampersand. The ampersand. <laughs> <laughs> he says the word with a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tongue with cheek. Tongue with cheek. <laughs> It sounds like uh, I'm going to record Face Jam with Michael with Jordan. Yeah. With Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Insomnia Cookies, M with is, is, <laughs> Insomnia Cookies <laughs> is designed to be a late night treat because they're sure not open during the day <laughs> for college kids after studying or partying all night. Because I can't think of something I want more when after a night of drinking than a heavily frosted cookie sandwich. Yummo. You get Yum-o. sued for that. That is gross. Yeah. That that's what's so great about like shitty street pizza mm-hmm. and those sandwiches and Grease. like hot dogs and yep. shit. It's also just like like meat and yep. bread and yep. just like shit to like soak up all the crap inside it's not you. A sweet cookie. Ah, oh. dude. Oh, why? I had like two shots Give me some milk. of um Bailey's last week and I got a headache. Oh, that's so you're yeah. You're done with it because it's so sweet before you're drunk. Oh, oh, 100%. Like, it feels like it just, like, lives in your teeth. I had a headache and my tummy hurt. It's right. (laughs) We're pretty cool, huh? Dude, these cookies would have fucked my ass up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have been screaming at the end of this episode. We kept saying before this started that we- I hate sweets, We just kept going, I can't believe Michael didn't come in and say no to this because he hates sweets. Well, I just hate a lot of it, right? Like, I like sugar. Yeah. But it's like, I I can't wrap my head around- a giant cookie yes. and eating it. Mm-hmm. I'm eating the whole thing and mm-hmm. not like taking a bite and going, that's good. And then putting it down. I think the I last just get episode so fast, man. I think the last episode you explained it where it's like, it was having like the sugar. If it's like part of a, a meal or like a bigger food or whatever, that it's fine. But you were talking about like just having like the sugar, like cake or whatever. Right. It's just, it's just, it's just like, sugar right, formed like, to do a shake. Like, yes. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. You, you don't like cake Dude. because it's basically just that. Right. Yeah. That's why I like pie. Yeah. There's like filling. Mm-hmm. And it has um, some savor. And like, I got like, I like cake. Motherfucker, you go to, you like, you want a piece of cake? Yeah. You cut me half the cake. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is up with cake cuts? It's insane. Uh, it was like, hell was that Friday's episode. Oh. That, that carnival thing. Oh, that yeah. was an oh, everything nightmare. else. For multiple. That years. was an absolute nightmare. Then I went to um, uh, that Friday's is close. Then I went to Vince Young's after that. <laughs> oh God! Oh, I that's forgot right. about that. And I kept screaming. That was that's the- why we had to do the the podcast the next day yeah. because <laughs> I kept screaming. No, my stay. <laughs> I had a tummy ache like <laughs> until I was putting it in my mouth. We were eating donut sandwiches oh. and like cotton candy drinks. Yeah, and it was like and Carl oh, man, was I'm gonna there. go eat a steak yeah, later. Yeah, we were eating oh, it just going like a oh, good man, expensive one. This is gross. And Michael's going, I'm supposed to go to Vince Young. I'm supposed <laughs> to go to Vince Young. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> in 2018, Insania Cookies was acquired by Jab Holdings. A German conglomerate. Jordan is punching. I see. No, oh, I'm, I'm he's opening, opening the door. door. <laughs> That's exactly what she did. That's exactly what she did. That also owns Panera and Krispy Kreme. In March 2019, a German newspaper revealed that JAB owner Albert Reinman Sr. and his son, Albert Reinman Jr., were enthusiastic sense. supporters of Adolf Hitler, who is dead, and the Nazi party well before they took power and profited from forced labor in their industrial chemicals company in Southern Germany and in their own home. That just went on and on and on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So now, now how, how did they feel about the guy after the turn though? That's, I, that I couldn't tell you. Cause I, but can't, you I can't, have, Hey, you can't but box I them can, out for, but I can guess that they were still for him. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That's an assumption. You can't blame them beforehand. Right. Well, I don't know what the guy was up to before, you know, he hit it big. 
I can guess that it was probably more of the same. Yeah, but not, but you know, probably you, like I'm pretty sure you could yeah, probably yeah, tell. Yeah, probably you, like you could tell where it was I, going. It was, I think it was more like at a local level. Though, I think like given when you have more, like a bad I think mayor. given recent events, you could kind of look at something and well, then like, look a little down the road and go, mm -hmm. see where this is going. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, like maybe Adolf Hitler, like he's just not filling in the potholes. I'm not gonna hate the guy for it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, uh, sure, sure. But also, I'm pretty sure that stuff was <laughs> everything else was also around him. I mean, know, I I am ignorant. I don't know at all. Yeah, I have you no, know what? I, have, I agree with Michael. I have no. He is ignorant. I have, I have no qualms about this at all. I'm pretty sure he wrote a book about it. <laughs> I'm just saying, if Eric here, fact checker extraordinaire, yes. is making a point to mm -hmm. say they loved Hitler before he took power, correct? It just leads you to believe, you know, maybe. I don't Maybe think he wasn't always Adolf Hitler I, that I think, we know. I don't think that that's what when it did led it me turn though. Believe. When did it turn? Though? I don't think As there was baby? ever. I don't think. No, there had to be at some point, Eric. I think it's when his art it career didn't take off. It wasn't that he loved. <laughs> it was when his art career didn't take off. Okay, so is this that's pre that... or post art? This has to be post oh, art because he's they, with the Nazi they big... party. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, they're yeah. bad. Yeah, they're yeah. bad, dude. And they supported the Nazi party. They're, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad, Eric. <laughs> You almost made us eat Nazi cookies? What the oh! fuck? That's why I kept pretending it was closed. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? I I don't like to get political on this show. Yeah, right. But right. I'll do it. Nazis are not cool. Yeah. <laughs> don't <laughs> like them, don't dude, want them, don't need them. Finally, down. someone said it. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan, back me up on this. I'll back you up 100%. And I'm you, just like, you know you what? You against the world or Eric. <laughs> Where do you stand? I'm drawing a line in the yeah. sand. I'm yeah. with you You're, on your oh, okay. side. Oh, okay. All right. yeah. well, welcome well, to our side you, of the sand. Why were you making that so confusing? <laughs> like, nothing was you were, confusing. He was sending mixed messages. Nothing was so confusing. I, okay, I'm, I, all right, I'm good now. Uh -huh. okay. All right, now, I, now I'm back to just being upset about you failing to get us the food today. In 2014, 64-year-old Georgia Spence filed a $10 million lawsuit against Insomnia Cookies for being closed in the middle of the day? Oh, no. <laughs> After being attacked on the street... <laughs> By an employee while she was walking two dogs. What the fuck? Kicking dogs, Nazi owned, insomnia cookies has it all. <laughs> also closed. <laughs> but she didn't even know at the time. This is why they were closed. You you wrote a hit piece. Yeah, I think they're out of business. They saw now. them coming. I was wondering why I saw them uh draw the shades and scurry in the back where right? Eric was going, Why are you closed? I, I think I think just as Eric was rounding the corner to try the other door, I saw someone like just get out yeah. and leave the door closed. Oh man. yeah. They were like, that's the guy. That's the not Nazi sympathizer. <laughs> He's sympathizing with all those non Nazis out there. He makes me sick. Is what you're saying about insomnia cookies, not me. I didn't write the facts, and also I haven't even eaten their cookies. Yeah. Enough, and I've yeah. never heard of them before. <laughs> but uh, you know today. what? After learning everything I, I've no. learned from these facts, uh -huh. I've never eaten there. I'll never. Eat I'll eat a cookie. Yeah, okay. so it's, I'll I take a bite. It's... Sometimes I'll take a bite. A, a bite? A bite is all it takes sometimes. To what? Ingest sugar? No. The Who knows how hate-filled these cookies are? Oh. It's true. Oh. You're saying, like, who's the next guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, he could be amongst us right now. Right. Nick? He could be wearing a red hat. I'm not saying names. Oh, it is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, oh, I mean, it is red, huh? I wouldn't go to red as the first color. I, I wouldn't either, but... Is that maroon? As far as, as, far yeah. as like, maroon? Primary colors go... You're not gonna. You're not. Jordan gonna draws it. a lot of cartoons. Yeah. So you have to listen to him when it comes. Not to well. Yeah. I've seen him draw on a window of a car. <laughs> yeah, with markers that don't work. Yeah, and apparently uh, five were, broken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's over here drawing soup cans. Yes. <laughs> we're all very talented artists and have made a career out of it. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> Can you draw? If you can draw, you can. Work. Yeah, yeah. You can draw. For him. <laughs> I guess those are the facts. Those, yeah, we learned about insomnia cookies. That other that Nazi fact was just so long. Yeah. Well, I wanted you. I wanted to be comprehensive about the Nazis. Oh, oh, he, oh okay. They liked the Nazis, Nazis. before they yep. took power. Yes. But, Enthusiastic but supporters of Adolf Hitler after and the Nazi they were Nazis. Party, well, before yes, they took correct, which were so, never cool. Correct. Right. But they got even worse. Yeah, I would say that. Yuck. Yeah, yuck is right. Did you know there was a, a party uh, kind of around the same time in uh, Britain? Just straight up called the Fascist Party of Britain. Really? 
Well, they just didn't even, they didn't pull any punches on it. Yeah, him. it was just called that. And uh, We're, they, they, they made they drew a little, line a little to me. too much headway <laughs> for, <laughs> for a party with that name. I like the idea of calling your group, we're the bad guys. And, every, right. and then some people going, well, maybe they're not all bad. Yeah, yeah but at the same time, though, uh-huh. you're not sending any mixed messages no, to the be, bad guys. Yeah, they you go, got, those are my people. That, there you go. Right? You don't got to wonder. The other bad guys are going, this is finally a place for me. Yeah. yeah. I don't have to. Like right, you don't. I don't have to put out any feelers and yeah, see what's going on. Do we have to speak in some kind of like coded language for like a few times? Absolutely and then, not. And right, then no. we kind of like know Just that we're all up, on the same like, no. What's the secret handshake? Oh, you say I'm evil. Yeah, okay, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to killing. Look, that's uh, <laughs> the fascist party. Yep. Hmm. That was the best fact on the sheet, and it wasn't even there. Our previous Boston Market episode. Was released. It was Nick is holding <laughs> up <laughs> highlighted text that it's says bigger. it was too thin to be gravy. No, it wasn't. It <laughs> was, it absolutely was, was not. It was simply yeah. gravy. I, it was dog shit. My, fa- my favorite part no, about that. It was dog shit. <laughs> it certainly was not dog shit. It, w- it was gravy. Okay? It was gravy, is what it was. I didn't ask what your opinion of the gravy My favorite was. part about it that was gravy. Was him holding up the laptop and he's just making the text bigger <laughs> yeah, like, and bigger he was just and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. He had bigger. to start small and make it big instead of just starting big. <laughs> it had, a, it had to a, put on a show. It had a real threatening aura to it. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of blinking too. Um, man, all right. Who knows what it was? Our previous Boston Market episode released December eighth, twenty 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 twenty. 20, <laughs> where we ate the Tuscan chicken and chicken Marsala. It received an average score of 6-4. It's true. Nice rhyme. <laughs> it was a little smile. <laughs> Originally named Boston Chicken. In 1984, in the town of Newton, Massachusetts, Boston Market went through a name change in 1995 and moved to Golden Co. <laughs> to company, I guess? What? Golden, the, the Golden, Golden Corporation? Col- Golden Colorado. Is that near... Um, where'd we go? Um, <laughs> uh, Mike, Michael, wake up. You're talking in your we sleep. Doing the show <laughs> we are doing the show. <laughs> so they changed Saint their name Fort to Fort Collins. Yeah. <laughs> Saint Fort Collins. I forgot about the Saint. <laughs> That's what he was reaching for, into the, the annals of yep. his mind for. And there were so many gnats to fight through. <laughs> After filing for bankruptcy in the late 90s, Boston Market was purchased by McDonald's. What? And successfully run till they sold in 2007, because we have to assume it was eating into McDonald's, quote, single dad who has his kids for four days this week instead of two. And what do kids eat anyway? Chicken. And quote, bottom line budget. That was wordy. I just figured that that's what Boston Market's for. You just go, my kid likes mac and cheese, and this is chicken, so this is probably, this so is, is like this child is safe, food. This is safe for them yeah, to Yeah, but eat. if your kid likes chicken, just so you know, that you go to McDonald's and mm-hmm. you get a chicken. Right, nuggets. and then that's why McDonald's sold them, because they went, the fuck is this? You yeah. can't, you can't, if you're going to have chicken. You come here. Come to McDonald's. Right. You don't got to cut it. Exactly. You just shove it in your hole. Yep. <laughs> During its expansion in 2002, not 2020, 2020, <laughs> Boston Market was met with a trademark lawsuit Uh-oh. in the streets by a man screaming at a wall <laughs> in Canada from Boston Pizza. Sadly, McDonald's owned Boston Market, lost, and shuttered their Canadian restaurants in 2004. Thanks for nothing, Canada. Can't let the little guys have anything. Wow. Fuck up. Was mad, dude. It's, it's not up. even a really, like... A uh, strong case for a trademark. No, they Not just it's, it's just called Boston. It's, it's Boston, Boston Pizza and Boston Market. So they they filed okay. this trademark lawsuit and said, "You can't call yourself this. We're Boston Pizza. We're here. People are going to think it's like this expansion restaurant." And Boston Market said, "No, that is what we are. We're Boston Market." Boston Market so, said, "So, so <laughs> they shut down all the restaurants in 2004, and the lawsuit kept going until 2008. Did they win though." No, oh. <laughs> Boston Market lost. I'll tell you one thing: I've oh. heard of Boston Market, never heard of Boston Pizza. The closest, so who's the real winner? The closest Boston Pizza. I looked it up because I went, "Ooh, maybe we can do that." <laughs> the closest Boston Pizza is uh, in a Costco parking lot in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. That's not too far. It's not that far. Well, let's yeah. go to Windsor. If we start yeah. in like Detroit, uh-huh. get there in no time. Yeah, right. that's they are close to that border, man. <laughs> and we could do like brunches along the way. Oh wow! Just like with the jam, not with the jam. 
But like, right, we have the brunch, them, and then like, we can I see them if afterward. We, oh, if we do, here's what we do. We uh-huh. do brunch with the jammers. Uh-huh. We do like a big tour of like a sightseeing tour where like the jammers have brunch mm-hmm. like at uh, like the Statue of Liberty. Uh-huh. But we're the statue. looking – no, 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 through like oh. the quarter binoculars at oh. them from very far away. Sure. Your your idea is to have the jammers yes. have their own brunch yes. away from us. Yeah, on an island. On an island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we look at them from very far away. Can we have brunch? It's, it's called an interaction. Oh, yeah, well, we'll get to eat whatever we want. Oh, we're, we can have we're not brunch. not stuck at the Statue of Liberty. I see. Yeah. No, so we're, we I just we're, want we're them not... in a place where they can't get to us oh. quickly or easily. Right. Unless one of them's a really good swimmer, we're safe. We, yeah, but I mean, we just start walking. <laughs> exactly. And I like, we got a head start. Us. So, Plus, something in the water will probably kill them before they go. <laughs> like probably the water itself, yeah, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, hold your breath. So, they have their own brunch, knowing that they're all jammers together. I don't know that they sell something. Something at the like at, I don't, at the right. bottom of the dress. I don't think so. So they would have like to like next to the foot. This, like, <laughs> like is I guess her, you can like lay, is her, like is her foot, foot <laughs> like a store. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think so. Oh. So they would bring their they own brunch, bring, yeah, yeah. and then we would also have our own brunch. Uh-huh. We would do it away but from them. But we wouldn't them. bring it. We'd get to buy it. We eat our own brunch separately. Uh huh. And then do and we... and because the way it works is the binoculars kind of point at the Statue of Liberty. People uh-huh. don't really want to see out from it. They'd okay. Also have to bring their own, own binoculars, binoculars so they to look can at us. see us. Well, yeah. I guess if you're interested in this, let us know. I mean, that's just one option. We could, hey, yeah. Um, I mean, Eiffel it's a little Tower, on the. It's they're all, at the top. Oh, okay, yeah. At the bottom. They're at sure. the top. Yeah, they're at the top where they can't get to it. Yeah, because oh, we're I we're, we're stuck. Bottom. We're at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. 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 We want them stuck. That's smart. I hadn't considered freedom. it that way. No, yeah. no, no. You that's good. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I so thought it was Eiffel a little Tower. on the nose if, with the Statue of Liberty because it's like you're huddled masses, you're poor, you're tired. Like mm-hmm. we're just <laughs> all, all of which yes. are them right jammers. There. You can just rewrite poor that to jammers. Right, yeah. Give us all your jammers. <laughs> yeah. End of sentence. Right? It's all encompassing term. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Old, poor, tired, <laughs> hungry. Looking hungry. Fed, bring me your hungry. Look, scared. <laughs> afraid of sound Ghosts. coming from places you can't see. Old. Who said that? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, I'm just one more fact. This. Yeah. How'd that get down there? Over the last 20 years, the only thing Boston Market has done successfully is created a brand of freezer dinners called Boston Market at Home, a meal for the upper crust bachelor <laughs> who wants a boneless short rib shaped patty from a chicken place but refuses to put down Elden Ring maidenless for real. Oh. That was pretty good. <laughs> Call me. Dung eating. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, you eat Boston Market at home? I'm a dung eater. I'm a- <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, I what is the deal with dung eater? Does he eat dung? Oh, he he like makes dung. He eats dung. He's uh-huh. very dung focused. Imagine right. if that was his name. He didn't. The problem. The problem with with. Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna Not get out. I'm eating? gonna get outside of Boston Market just for a quick second. Okay. Welcome to Elden I'll Ring see if we have time. Okay. But all right. Okay. The, the thing that sucks about Elden Ring is, unlike all the other From Software games, uh, the achievements are actually quite attainable without being absurd. Mm. Right. Oh, like, okay. It's like collect these eight legendary weapons. Not every single weapon in the game. Got you got to play 15 times and do every quest line and all that shit. Here's the problem, though. There's an achievement for getting three different endings. Mm. I only want to get the dung eater ending every time. <laughs> Why would you play the game and not end in dung? You know what I mean? And right. so it's like, I feel like you're, you know, for a game that's like, play how you want. Yeah. You know, do what you they're want. They're really like. You're making me not eat dung, and I yeah. don't like it. Don't like that. Like, it's unsatisfying. It's, it's like. very unsatisfying. Do you think anyone would. <laughs> Go ahead. If George R. R. Martin hadn't been a co-writer on uh-huh. that on that game, do you think anyone would. Give it a second thought about Dung Eater being a character in the game. Did George R.R. R. Martin pitch Dung Eater? I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm fairly sure he's responsible for everything. I'm I'm game. I'm gonna be honest <laughs> and though. I'm holding him accountable. I'm gonna be honest though. Now like, we're talking. Having having played them, that all that shit's always there. Oh, really? uh-huh. Right? That's Dung Eater right. is is not from the minds of right. I'm George a R. R. Martin. I'm, I'm a baby gamer, so I think, I've never played the, I think, the, the Dark I think, Souls games. I think so. what he mostly did about six to eight years ago, because he sure doesn't fucking know. No, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ask him about the game. He's like, "What's that?" It's a it's <laughs> like a Dark Souls sequel. And he's like, "Oh yeah, I think I 
I think I did something with that. I oh, signed a contract fun. that said that it, said exactly. I could it's, they could use my name on it. It's funny <laughs> that the games like press and everything's like George R. R. Martin. He's like, I don't. I mean, that was like five years I, ago. I don't remember. I don't know. I I made some monsters. Or some it's shit. crazy <laughs> how he, that was he created the world. Yeah, as far as I sure. Know. Which, to be fair, is the most different thing. Right, that right. Is it's much more the uh, most uh, alive med- medieval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was everything that I heard in all the press before the game came out. Was George R. R. Martin did this? He created this world. The game came out, and you hear that zero. Like I don't hear that from anyone going. It was yeah, pure, it's that game that George well, R. R. Martin. Because now they're just hype. soaking it in. Yes, yeah. exactly. Now right. it's like, oh, it's like oh, this can but stand on its own two feet. They yeah. they marketed it. They got dung eater in there. That's I don't know what else you it. fucking need, bro. You got I, dung eater. Dung it dude, up, dude. That was like the baby Yoda of this whole thing. Like you weren't expecting dung get, eater. Get yeah. dunged, bro. <laughs> well, I think the maiden was the baby. Oh, that's yeah, that's pretty good. The guy, you you're two seconds in, you're getting called maiden list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Way to put me in my place. Damn, dude. We know exactly who we're talking. We know who's playing this game. You are surely made. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what's even funnier too? The other thing, I, it cannot be not intentional. Uh-huh. Uh, but the bonfires in this game are called graces, They're uh-huh. like forgotten graces. Mm-hmm. And when you find one, it says "touch grace," and it's absolutely telling you you're an incel. Touch grass. Oh, awesome! Every, oh. every time touch, I touch do, grass, I, go, I, go, I say "touch grace, bro." <laughs> go, go outside and touch grace. Every there's like ten thousand of them. You can't not awesome. think of it. That's awesome. You maidenless fuck. Touch grace. <laughs> They're really slamming people. They are good. Well, they know exactly who their audience is, and they know they're going to eat it up. And so. those are just the See, facts. See, we learned. We learned a lot. <laughs> they're going to eat it up like dung eater. No! 